Hi everybody, I'm Kyle, the lead Google Sites designer here at Kirksville Web Design. Today we're going to talk about a Google intranet solution. So now, why am I talking about a Google intranet solution versus just a Google Sites intranet? Well, a Google, Google intranet solution goes far beyond just Google Sites. Certainly Google Sites is part of the puzzle, it's part of the uh, the tools that we will highlight here but it's not just the only uh, useful tool in for internal communications for collaboration and for intranet development so i'm going to be using this video to highlight six different applications that are important for intranet development for companies and organizations so we're going to start off here uh, we're, we're looking at my website where i'm talking about Google Intranet Solutions for Google Workspace. Now immediately I've brought up Google Workspace. Google Workspace is what is the, the ecosystem for these applications to live under. It's sort of the umbrella that brings these applications within the same domain so you're benefiting from security uh, domain-wide. You're also using Google Workspace for advanced features uh, that are available there. there at different uh, pricing uh, tiers or versions of Google Workspace. You then have um, premier features as well. And some of these can impact the way that maybe um, these different applications may integrate with a, a Google's Google intranet solution. So Google Workspace, I mean, right from the get-go, you can see it's designed to help people connect, create, and collaborate. And that is certainly t true when we take a look at these six uh, tools. So I guess I'm sort of calling Google Workspace a tool here, but it's the umbrella that brings all these tools together and is definitely a recommended for, uh, for companies to use. You can use these tools without Google Workspace, maybe independently or somehow uh, you can start to work them together, but uh, Google Workspace will do that for you. So next on our, our applications, our tools, is Google Drive. Google Drive, its strength is for document management. So for internet development, what are you going to use Google Drive for? Well, right here it says to store, access, and share your files in one secure place. One secure place. That certainly uh, denotes an intranet feeling, doesn't it? So you're going to be gathering all these documents together. These policies and procedures, these um, annual plans or strategic plans, marketing uh, materials, all into one place. And for an intranet, one of the first steps that I guide my clients for is to um, start with creating a team drive or a shared drive. Now that intranet shared drive is going to either pull in documents themselves or shortcuts to documents so that we can link to them easily within the intranet environment, maybe in Google Sites or in other applications. So Google Drive, use it for document management. That's its strength. And so it's going to give you, like it says here, the capacity for storage, search as well, and then team files in a shared space. Our next tool is Google Sites. Now you all know I am an advocate uh, for a promoter of Google Sites work. Uh, certainly for intranet, what it does is it helps to centralize all these elements together into one uh, knowledge hub or a wiki or a team site, uh, whatever you're designing it to be, what type of intranet you need. And so Google Sites is going to be the tool to bring that and centralize it all into one web uh, property. So that is the strength of Google Sites. It's going to act as the, the hub for all these resources to pull them in together. Say it's uh, a folder of Google Drive documents or it's a Google Calendar with uh, meetings and events. So it's going to bring those gadgets and those other applications all into Google Sites, which is in Google Workspace. So Google Sites is, in, in my thought, is the primary, primarily the intranet uh, building application. Next, we're going to talk about Google Chat. Now, Google Chat has, has really excelled in the last couple months and years beyond just simple uh, communi chat communications. 
between individuals and staff, but it's grown into groups and then from groups into spaces. So spaces is where it gets really interesting for collaboration and for intranet development, because let, let's take a look here. Messaging and team collaboration is what they're highlighting on this page. So we go scroll down here, we can see in this area, it's talking about Google Spaces and uh, a company space for, for news or information or highlights or announcements, any sort of thing like that. And so it's a place for people to, uh, not only can you have news that's disseminated throughout the organization, but reactions and replies uh, to said news. So it's a way of also bringing people together that's a more a dynamic uh, chat room type of space. And so you're going to see here one of the premium features with Google Workspace bring up to 500,000 members together in one Google space. And so that is uh, what Google Chat is really good at is the dynamic news sharing portion. Whereas Google Sites was a strong knowledge sharing hub uh, for more static information and bringing applications together. Uh, chat is more of this um, sort of like what Slack does is what Google Spaces excels at. So the next application we're going to talk about is Sheets, this tool. So Sheets, I mean, I felt I needed to highlight this specifically because, I mean, it's part of Google Drive, we know that, but beyond that, Google Sheets is sort of the database-driven applications that can take um, intranets farther as far as directories are concerned or project management is concerned. Uh, Google Sheets is what you'll want to use for those types of applications. So it's any sort of data-driven uh, work is what you want to use Google Sheets for. And then Google Sheets can be embedded. Uh, Google Charts can be embedded. Uh, various add-ons also work within Sheets and then into Google Sites or into Intranet. So uh, for example, Awesome Tables, one application we use quite frequently with Google Sheets. So it allows us to visualize information and directories all into Google Sites as this intranet develop development and building uh, expands. So don't forget Google Sheets. Now next, we've been talking about providing information and gathering information. So how do we gather sort of the employee feedback well, that is through Google Forms. So you can see that from the very beginning, they're talking about getting employee ideas and suggestions. Yeah, that's what you're gonna use Google Forms for. It's to gather the input uh, from staff and from employees, which is also a very important element uh, for internet building, whether it's how the internet itself is received or how you know things like uh, satisfaction are measured, um, but also, you know, reporting and transparency. So Google Forms can be embedded in, into Google Sites. It could, it's an important Google intranet uh, based application. So it talks about those things here, Google Forms. And Google Forms goes back into Sheets and Sheets goes back into Sites and Sites is in Google Works. But so see, it's this entire ecosystem that works really well together and each application has its strength and you start to meld them together. Um, I think Google Sites is the, is the best way to get them to all to work together and to link out to them. So that is my uh, here, this review about Google, the concept of the Google intranet and intranet development with Google Workspace specifically. Um, like I said, you could work with these applications anywhere. Uh, it doesn't have to be within Google Workspace, but uh, Google Workspace is the certainly the way to give you a, a secure domain than uh, to do these things. All right, so thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, thanks for supporting my channel and subscribing. Uh, I'll try to make uh, more content like this is helpful for uh, think about Google Sites or just in general internet development or web design, whatever I, I feel like coming up with. So thanks a lot and uh, talk to you next time. Bye-bye.